Who would have thought they would be getting two Harry Potter games within the same year? But we're actually going to be getting three. Hey there friends, how's it going? I'm Ben Snow and welcome to my gaming couch where we usually play different video games. I have my dog sleeping here, so disregard the snoring. But today we're going to discuss everything you need to know about a brand new Harry Potter game, Champions of Quidditch. It was so good. Quidditch Champions. So do you remember that old Harry Potter game, Quidditch World Cup, where you could play as different uh, teams from Hogwarts or any team across the globe? There were teams from Bulgaria, Australia, France, Japan, United States, you name it. So this is basically the sequel to that game, but they had to change the name to avoid any legal issues with Electronic Arts. This is insane we literally talked about this during my live streams of hogwarts legacy like we need a standalone quidditch game and here we are okay well i'm obviously i'm as excited about this as you are but we got to talk about the prices the platforms the release dates etc so let's get to it what is Harry Potter Quidditch Champions? So Harry Potter Quidditch Champions is a fast-paced, competitive multiplayer game featuring the world's most iconic magical sport. Who is publishing Harry Potter Quidditch Champions? Warner Brothers Games is publishing Harry Potter Quidditch Champions under the Porky Games label. Who is developing Harry Potter Quidditch Champions? Harry Potter Quidditch Champions has been developed for several years by Unbroken Studios, the studio that is known for working on Battlefield, Call of Duty, God of War, and the Arkham series. Is Harry Potter Quidditch Champions a standalone experience? Yes, Harry Potter Quidditch Champions is a complete standalone Quidditch experience. It engages players in the sports of Quidditch and the other broomstick adventures alongside friends in a competitive multiplayer setting. So this is a very important thing. You can play this game solo or team up with friends or others online. So this is amazing. So we're gonna have some kind of a little adventure you know, little campaign that you're going to be able to do offline, possibly. And then, of course, the major focus is going to be on the online multiplayer. And this is awesome. This is literally what we asked for. Let me know, are you going to be playing single player or online? Okay, moving on. Where can I play Harry Potter Quidditch Champions? Harry Potter Quidditch Champions is presently in limited playtests. You can sign up for your chance to join current and future playtests by following the link in the description. Uh, registration doesn't guarantee an entry here. When does Harry Potter Quidditch Champions release? A release date for Harry Potter Quidditch Champions has not been set, but on the website of Unbroken Studios, you can see their timeline. They've got previous releases. They have Suicide Squad set for 2024 and Harry Potter Quidditch Champions 2020X unknown. So I believe they might be focusing first on the Suicide Squad and then Quidditch Champions. So we might have to wait a while until it's released. I'm, I might be wrong. We might see it be releasing this year, but I kind of doubt that because we have Hogwarts Legacy coming out for next-gen platforms, including PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch has its own different dates. So I believe, unless it's already done, we might see something maybe in fall, but I doubt it. I think this is a 2024 and beyond release. What platforms will Harry Potter Quidditch Champions be available on? So this is important. Harry Potter Quidditch Champions will be available for PC and consoles which have not yet been confirmed. So if you actually try to sign up for it, you will see that there are all the different uh, platforms available. So it's unclear if it's going to be just current gen like PS5 and Xbox Series X and S or whether or not it's going to go also to the last gen Xbox One and PS4. Um, we know from experience now that when developers try to bring games on previous gen consoles, it slows them down. So there is a chance they might just ditch the last gen consoles. If it's going to be coming out in 2024 or closer to it in 25, then it's probably going to be just the current gen, the PS5s, the egg, because we're because we're already having talks about PS5 Pro, some even talking about PS5 6. PS5 6, never mind. Can players customize their character in Harry Potter Quidditch Champions? Yes, players can create and customize their own Quidditch Champions. This is amazing. So there's no confirmation we're going to have the same teams like from all across the world, but 
what they can go for is that you create your own team. You name your team as whatever you want it to be. You dress your character as the character can be dressed as, you know, it can have like gear from Australia or gear from Japan or United States or Mexico, you know, so it's it may not be based purely on the teams, but more on your players since kind of it's whatever. Right. I think personally it would be cool if we we'll have it would have different teams and you select them and you get a corresponding gear for that. And another question is, are they going to use the same assets as in Hogwarts Legacy? They built an amazing, beautiful Quidditch pitch there, and it's, it would be such a waste if not to use it. Well, there are two different developers. But and Warner Brothers and Porky Games are the only connections there. There is a chance that might share something. But so far in the credits, there is no Avalanche software. So I guess they will. They are working on it separately. Now I want to talk about the art style. I think it looks very close to the trailers they showed for uh, Hogwarts Mystery. It has the same like cartoony feel It's the same vibe. And I got to say, it is pretty similar style they used in Quidditch World Cup. Yes, it's very different. That's an old blocky <laughs> pixelated version of that. But the, you know, it gets the same vibe as the upgraded version of that. And that doesn't mean that's what we're going to see in the final, in the actual gameplay, because this is just a cinematic trailer. Um, but I think we can expect style somewhere between Hogwarts Legacy and Hogwarts Mystery. It's going to be somewhere in between there. But to be honest, I, I think that's cool. I really care more about the actual gameplay mechanics, how it's going to work, how we're going to play, how we're going to choose. Are we going to be switching between roles or this is the role that I ha I'm a chaser and I'm a chaser for the entirety of the whole match or the seeker? I'm just kind of constantly looking for um, the snitch. I'm curious to see how they're going to incorporate all those different roles, all those different tasks and how they will make this, you know, gameplay really seamless, because that's what was known from Quidditch World Cup. It was even though it's an old game, it had really good, really seamless gameplay. Some mechanics, some, um, you know, uh, inputs were a bit odd, <laughs> kind of like in Goblet of Fire, but they worked. You know, I had a lot of fun playing that game and I think I'll have to replay it on my channel here soon. But another thing I want to talk about is the price. How much are we going to pay for this thing? Normally, not normally, but it's very typical for games like this to be free and then have a ton of microtransactions. Are we going to see that here? I feel like this is just my personal opinion. There's no information about that. I still believe that uh, Warner Brothers will want to put a price on this thing and it's not going to be like $20. No, it's going to be a fully priced game. It's going to be like 59 or 69 American doll hairs and that's going to be it. And we will still see some limited microtransactions. But if there is going to be a price point, they better deliver, you know, with the quality right away. And we talked about this before, the fact that they took away Quidditch from Hogwarts Legacies because they didn't want to, you know, jeopardize the entire game just for Quidditch. So they said, OK, there are two different games. We're doing them separately. And I think it works. And maybe in the end, eventually we'll have that kind of coin jointed, you know, two games will have accounts that can be shared or some characters can be brought in. I don't know. Something like that can be can happen because it's still it's published by Warner Brothers. It's Sporky Games. They're going to they're going to come up with something. So we're really seeing expansion of the Wizarding World in gaming. We're seeing expansion of, of the Wizarding World in, you know, we get the TV series uh, coming up in a couple of years. So there's a lot. I'm so excited about we still we even have another Harry Potter game, Magic Awakened, but that's PC and mobile. See, that's what I was worried about in the beginning, that this is going to be only mobile. I'm like, no, 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 no. But no, it's consoles, it's PC. It's amazing. So guys, now I just want to see what you think about this. Are you excited about? I'm sure you are. But what are your concerns? Do you think it's going to be like a just kind of rip off of Rocket League barely done, or do you think they're actually going to, you know, pay attention and develop a really good product? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about this. I have my discord also right here. 
I'll be talking more about this game in the future. I'll be making videos. I'll be playing it once it comes out 100%. I'm a big Harry Potter fan and I'm a big gamer. I play different games. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.